I'm 26, so I've been doing this for quite a while um, at this point, and uh, still loving it. You know, not to say that I enjoy every single moment, every single day, but ultimately still enjoying it, still enjoying the process. You have to have fun. You have to enjoy this. You have to, you know, love doing this. And, and again, I'm not the girl that goes to practice and loves training. You know, you don't have to love every single aspect of it. You just have to love, I think, the overall picture. You know, I, I love racing. I've always been the girl that I love standing on the blocks and I, and I love racing. If I could be Gary Hall and never train a day and race, I'd be all over it, but I can't. You know, and unfortunately, you know, if I want to be any good at racing, I have to go to work out every day and I have to train really hard and I have to do all these things that, that get me to the point. But, you know, I'm, I'm a pretty analytical, logical person, a whole family of engineers, so. You know, I'm like, all right, you know, this is the result that I want. The racing is what I enjoy. The racing is what I love doing. So, okay, if I have to do all these other things, then that is what it is. Motivation isn't necessarily something that you have every single day. And I think it's the days that you don't have it. Those are the days that, that you get better. It's the days that you you think about, the days that you don't want to be there, the days that you're not enjoying yourself, the days that the, when the set is hard and, and you just don't want to finish it. I, for me, I think those are the days when you get better because you have to figure out a way to actively get through that. I've learned through this whole process that, you know, it, it's, it's not about times, it's not about results, it's not about all these things that, that people think it's supposed to be about. It's, it's about an elemental just loving what you're doing and, and just getting a kick out of racing and having fun. The biggest thing that helped me going into trials was honestly not worrying about making the Olympic team or meddling or, or any of that. You know, I, I kind of took the approach of, you know, I'm 25 years old. This might be the last swimming of my career. I just want to have a good time. You know, I want to enjoy myself. I want to enjoy the process. And I'm just going to soak everything in and just take all of this in. And you know what? I hope I make the Olympic team and I hope that I get to go and, and, and whatever. But if I don't, you know, I, I want to walk away from this meet knowing that I did everything that I could do and I want to walk away knowing that I'm happy with it. You know, I don't want the last meet of my career potentially to be something where I'm upset. I think because I had such a laid back attitude about it, that's ultimately what, again, enabled me to swim fast and, and enabled me to get the times I need and, and, and to eventually get on the team. And I think a lot of that really was not worrying about the things that everyone else was. Everyone else was concerned about making an Olympic team and I, and I was there and I was just like, I'm just gonna have fun. I'm, I really am just gonna enjoy this process. And again, this is much easier said than done. This is not something that comes naturally. This is not something that is easy. People tell me all the time that I look so relaxed and I look like I'm not focused and all this stuff and I'm like, I'm focused. It's just knowing how to separate the two. You know, knowing how to talk to someone and laugh and have a good time and then how to focus and, and get in the mindset. And this isn't something that has to take you half an hour to achieve. I mean, this, this is something that you should be able to do in the snap of a finger, go from being unfocused to being focused. It's, it's a decision. It's, a, you know, it, it's not really a long, drawn-out thought process. It, it's a decision that you, you know, decide that you're going to do what it is that you need to do in that moment. And that's something that happens at workout, and that's something that happens in a meet. So it, it, it's not something that you have to sit and prepare for. Every time you stand on the blocks, every time you race is an opportunity to learn something. It's an opportunity to try something, see what works. You know, I have a, a strategy in the tuner back that's worked for me pretty well, so I'm gonna stick with that. But I didn't figure that out overnight. I had to try different things. You know, I'm a back halfer. I had to try the whole go out and die and then, you know, try to finish the race. Didn't like it, didn't really work too well. And that's definitely something you learn in swimming is, you know, everybody's capable of doing it, but, you know, capable of doing it on the right day, at the right time, in that moment, and, and figuring out how to do that, and figuring out the process, and race strategies, and all that. And a lot of times that means failing, a lot of times that means trying stuff that doesn't work. Um, I have lost way more races than I've ever won. You learn more from the races that you swim terrible in than you do from the races that you swim good in. A lot of times the races you swim good in, you probably don't even remember what it is that you did that was good. You know, so I think this, the swims where you quote unquote mess up or don't do something right, you know, those have, because you didn't do something right, there's, you know, there's a lot more error there. There's a lot more to learn and take from that. So I think it's, again, it's, it's that mindset of, of always trying to look for the good. And, and that's not always something that happens right away. I've had meets where I walk away and it takes me a couple days, sometimes a couple weeks before I can really figure out the, th the thing, what it is that I learned from this race. One of the good and the bad things about swimming for the U.S. is we are good and we win events. And if that's something intimidating, it is what it is. And if you can choose to use that as, as something empowering and, and something that 
okay, I obviously got here for a reason on a pretty good team, so therefore I must be pretty good. You know, I mean, if you can kind of have this kind of logic that works like that, that can be very, very empowering.